To date, expired vaccines are about 15% of the doses we ordered, with a total value of Sing dollars, 140 million. In the coming months, this is likely to rise to close to 25% as more vaccines expire. I also put the Anti-Corruption uh, Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau under my personal portfolio so that everybody knew that I'm personally going to lead this drive. So I gave the director the authority to investigate everybody and everything, all ministers, including myself. Uh, the CPIB had conducted as thorough an investigation as it could with the information and powers that it possessed. It turned all the stones it could and assessed the evidence together with AGC. They concluded that they could not sustain any charges in court. The conduct had taken place overseas. Key witnesses are not available. Key documents are also not available. We got some information from Brazil, but it was not adequate to mount any criminal charge. There were no admissions which could be relied upon to cross the evidentiary requirements. The documents between the U.S. authorities and KOM and the DPA also do not meet the evidentiary requirements. They go some way, but they don't cross the threshold in respect of those who are being investigated. The CPIB, for good reasons, has the reputation for being able to ferret out the truth. But even the CPIB can't get something out or proceed with charges when there are no documents or other evidence which cross the evidential threshold and which can be used to break down the interviewee's defenses. In these circumstances, the general policy of not disclosing the names of individuals who have been under investigation applies. Reputation is temporary, but character is permanent. I agree. We cannot have corruption in Singapore. We cannot have wrongdoing in the government or in high places in Singapore. That's why we have the CPIB reporting to me as PM. And if I don't give approval to the CPIB to investigate somebody, the CPIB can go to the president and ask the president for approval. President says yes, CPIB can proceed against the PM. That's why we have the Auditor General's Office to keep the government straight, to keep our statutory board straight, and once in a while to find out whether the town councils are straight or not straight. Then instead of spending my time thinking of what is the right policy for Singapore, I'm going to spend all my time, I have to spend all my time thinking what is the right way to fix them, What's the right way to buy my own supporters over? How can I solve this week's problem? In Japan, the chairman and CEO of call press conference take a deep bow. And in the good old days, they may even call me Harakiri. <laughs>